so I broke a couple just plastic pieces that go over here when I took it off and I was able to put it back all right I got the other ignition that Russ gave me and I also got the key this is to a different Camaro but I guess there's only like 10 different transmitters and I think the VAT system is still the same, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Um, a friend of Kirk's let us know, and we've seen a couple videos as well, that if you let it read, I mean, for at least 10 minutes or so, and uh, <clears throat> it should work. I mean, if not, then uh, we're gonna try to delete the VAT system and use that ignition. It's worth a try though. Let's, let's put this right here real quick. Probably the most messed up part about it is uh, as far as the locks to get in the car is different from the one with the chip. So I had to... Uh, pick the outside lock and then open the Camaro so this is the key we got from the other Camaro that rust bring and the other ignition go ahead and put it in and see if it even gives it any action hopefully I put that shit back together right let's just see I hear a little bit of noise we should let's see Controls the fan, I guess. So I think we're pretty much good. I don't see no freaking security light or anything like that. It has a robot. Oh, it's just beeping. Okay, stop beeping. All right, we're just gonna let it sit for ten minutes. You know, I don't see no security light. I do want to start it right now, but I, why waste my time? I just got to read. So I'm going to go ahead and save it for 10 minutes. And I'll see if this, this shit could work, man. All right, so we got it started. 